Hey guys, this is Tim Franklin again, making another tutorial about creating a lighting silhouette effect. Here's our raw footage. Now, you're using the same effect, CC Radio Fast Blur. So come in here and just go from zoom, change this zoom to brightest and you already get in a pretty nice effect we need to alter this because we don't want this radio blur to be affecting certain part of the image definitely don't want this don't want this don't even know what that is and some of this might be just a little bit too bright and looking at the final output again you know that this needs to be darker in this case what I'm gonna have to do is actually darken her. So to create a mask around her, I'm just going to go right into Mocha. I already have all the shapes here. So I basically just track these in. I tracked this, attach the body and the face, link to track, lower body. This was its own tracker. There's no, so there's no link to track other than the lower body one. Track that. So we're basically just going to take all these three and export shape data. All visible layers. Copy to clipboard and come in here. Create a new solid command Y. Um, and I'll just call it black. I guess I could have just kept it the same. Edit, paste mocha mask, and now, so now we have a general outline for her. And that's all we're really looking for right now. So I'll just kind of blur this in. And it's pretty, it's pretty creepy. You know, it definitely gives an eerie feel. It reminds me, when I was doing this, it reminds me of uh, the one thing in American Horror Story, that black leather suit or whatever material it was. Okay, so now that we have this here, we're actually going to take a different step and we're going to create a adjustment layer that is just lighting. And we're going to take this CC radio blur and copy it and put it right here. Delete it out of the bottom. And that will, ooh, actually, this is kind of a, an issue you kind of see. Luckily, they're going to be really darkening it a lot. In this scenario so I don't really need to worry about that so now we have the, the, this issue of these lighting artifacts I guess you could call it the reason why they're there there was lighting I think it hit a dresser of some kind and because of the fact that this is just going off of the brightest areas that's what happens um, so again we have our black solid and all we're going to do is just create a new mask. So we're going to do this, 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 and just mask it out. And you don't have to worry about it. I really, there's a little bit of movement. I really don't feel like actually manually tracking anything. So to, to lower the opac uh, brightness of this edge here, I'm going to, again, just go right into Mocha, and I'm going to track that. With Mocha, you don't have to actually stay inside these lines here, because I want to create a plane. I created the mask accidentally in the middle, um, so I basically just have to track backwards. Not sure if it's necessarily the best point to track, but I don't really feel like redoing that, so... Just have to track back and forth. And that seems to be sticking on there pretty well. Left wall edge. 
something along those lines. Export shape data. Selected layer only, copy to clipboard, bring it into After Effects, and selecting that, edit, paste mocha mask. And so that's that's pretty dark. That's too dark, I know. Uh, the director didn't want that. Um, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to lower the opacity for this mask. And so there's just a little bit of a sliver of light here. Now we're looking pretty good. The mask over here is pretty holding pretty well. And now we need to, this is another situation because this is way too bright. Because even if I lower this, because they want it there, but only a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So I need to lower this as well. Bring it into After Effects. And I'm gonna create a new null. And I'm just gonna paste it right down. Now I have that. And so I can just kinda of come in here. I'm gonna create a new solid here. Handle, black. Kinda of mislabeled with that. So I'll just bring the opacity down so I can see it. And basically going to just kinda of make it general mask around this handle tracker and do that right there and I'm going to take this handle and track it right there and that looks that looks fine I want a little bit of it there so I'm just going to do this I'm just going to do that but so then oh put the lighting on top so then when I uh, turn on the lighting a little bit comes through and I'll probably do uh, maybe do more maybe do less because again I, I'm gonna be lowering the uh, colorist is gonna be lowering all these values so it's up to it's kinda up to you on what you actually want to do here I'm just gonna so then now at this point I'm just gonna take an adjustment layer and do curves and just knock it way down. But again, I don't have to knock it down that much to make her totally black. Because that's what he wanted, and I can still see the background, which is also another thing you want in here. You can still kind of see the background a little bit, which is exactly what you want. I think the director ended up wanting, ended up using like a, he ended up adding a blue. So this is sort of what ended up, this is ended, what ended up kind of being the final output, not that. That's not right, right there, but <clears throat> I'm just going to keep that for now. So then, to finish off the shot, I just tracked in some particles that I got off Video Copilot. And I also added a camera and zoomed it in. But I'm not going to go over that here because I wanted to just focus on the actual effect and I wanted to keep it short. So I hope this helps guys. You can view some more of my work at timsfranklin.com. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and watch out for more tutorials.